Michael, you've just named the team seven new debutants. Tell us about some of these kids coming through. Yeah, they're all playing really good football uh, for their clubs, and uh, they're all well deserved. Uh, you know, the opportunity arises there with, uh, with a sort of you know, a number of players that uh, couldn't be available through injuries and various reasons. But uh, for these young guys, it was about, about picking players that are in good form and uh, representing the jersey. Uh, and I know. Uh, all of them. Uh, I've spoke to all of them um, over the last 24 hours and they're extremely excited and you know, it's a really good moment actually I suppose as a coach that uh, making the phone calls you, know, you get the feel and hear the notion at the other end when you're, you're telling a young man that uh, he's you know, probably dreamed of that for a long long time about playing for his country and uh, yeah it was, it was a really enjoyable part of uh, the coaching side. Yeah, well, sometimes it's silence, and yeah, you're sort of you're still there. Yeah, but I think uh, yeah, there's just a, a lot of gratitude and you know, a very humble group of boys. Uh, you know, very thankful, but uh, also too the you know the understanding of uh, you know what they're they're going to move into, representing the jersey was something they spoke about. So it was it was excellent. It was a little bit difficult there, having I guess not being able to select as many players as you would have liked due to you know injury or the clubs not letting them out. Yeah, there were a few sort of circumstances around that, but look, to me, I, I really want to move forward with this group, and uh, it's a new start for, for where we are with the New Zealand rugby league. Uh, I think uh, the fact that, uh, you know, they've, they've had some tough periods over time, but, you know, that's now gone, and it's up to us as a group now to, to forge that, and, you know, we've got to build an expectation around this team that when you're coming into to, uh, the Kiwi jersey, that's the expectation around winning and, and performing at the highest of levels, and, you know, bringing uh, the group together every, every single time is uh, being able to create something special. Uh, and, and you do that by how you, you play the game and how you live your life away from the game. So they're the things that we want to instill and I've got a great group of boys that I've spent a bit of time with today uh, to be able to do that. Is this a rebuilding phase for the Kiwis? Oh, I, don't, I don't like the word rebuild. I think at the end of the day they're representing New Zealand. So I think uh, it's uh, a new time for these young guys to, to take their opportunities. Uh, you know, I had uh, some really good conversations with Simon Mannering, you know, a, a player that's played 45 tests for his country. and. You know, he still wants to play, but uh, you know, he understands where his body's at. Uh, but for these young boys now, that they look up to those players, and you know, it's their opportunity now to, to go and create those sort, same stories and pieces of history around the, around the jersey. What's the go with captaincy? Well, who yeah. do you think will be standing up? Will that be Isaac? Yeah, at the moment I'll, I'll sort of talk to the team, but uh, Isaac and I have had a fair bit to do over uh, our years, and uh, look, he's, a, he's been a great leader in and around the group. Uh, you know, and you can see the passion that he has around the jersey, and he understands that it. it's about going out and doing your job. But from a captaincy point of view, uh, look, I'm, I'm going to run without a captain. It's, it's more about just uh, someone that can represent, you know, when he runs out, but also to, uh, you know, probably talking to the ref. But to me, I want to, I want to learn about the players. I want to be able to, to get to know who are the leaders and who are the ones that are actually going to drive this jersey forward. What a great story with Isaac. You know, he wasn't in the Kiwi squad last year, but he's yeah. been outstanding this year. How has it been watching him and been able to work with him again? Yeah, well, I still keep in touch with Isaac over the years, but uh, it's been really good. I mean, I, I know what he's capable of, and yeah, we probably had a, a couple of tough years, I suppose, uh, but uh, to see him uh, really fit and healthy now and, and playing some really good uh, footy, uh, we've got a, a pretty decent pack that he's going to be uh, running out from behind at a dummy half there at times, and obviously running certain plays, but it's uh, yeah, it's good when you've worked with a player for such a long period of time, and he faced a bit of adversity there, trying to find his form again, and uh, I think he's captured that now, and both at club level, and now looking forward to seeing that at uh, the highest levels for New Zealand rugby league. There's, there's a lot, like there are a lot of guys like Jesse Bromwich and Adam Blair that, that aren't available. But you've still got Martin Tapal and Joe Rua Hargraves and, and a lot, a lot of experienced yeah. forwards. There. Yeah, there is. I, you know, I think uh, we've probably seen a few uh, teams uh, in and around the Origin space that have had. Uh, you know, fair changes and look, we're going through a very similar change and what that does, it presents an opportunity for these young kids to, to build their own way of playing for the for the Kiwi jersey and uh, look, all of them that I've picked are all in good form so you know, that brings something that can be special when we uh, get to Denver and uh, play the test.